talk about sweaters and how to wash them and keep them looking their best and make them last a long time. And I want to start with cashmere this morning because maybe you've got some at home. Maybe you're going to get some for Christmas, which would be really nice um, to wash them. You can do that, and you don't have to take them to the dry cleaners if you do it the right way. So first of all, cashmere. It's goat hair. So you want to treat it like hair. So try some baby shampoo in a sink of cold water. Now, you don't want to use warm or hot water on cashmere. Put a couple of squirts in, then you're going to squeeze it. You're never going to wring. You're never going to rub. You're just going to squeeze that soap through it. When you're done, rinse it a couple of times in cool water doing the same thing, squeezing it, and add a little hair conditioner to the last rinse to keep that hair nice and soft. When you take it out of that water basin, what you want to do is lay it out and then roll it into a towel to remove all of that moisture and just press down on it. That will take care of it. Stretch it out and let it dry flat. It'll look just great as long as you do it that way. Now, if you have blends, that's sweaters that have all kinds of different blends in them, cotton, polyester, acrylic, rayon. What you're gonna do is put them into a lingerie type bag, a delicates bag, and use your favorite detergent. I like to turn them wrong side out too. For a great spotter for your sweaters, try making your own with some sal suds. Fill up a bottle of warm water and add one half teaspoon of sal suds to it. Spray it on any spots and stains and launder as usual. Now, if you got jeweled sweaters, things like this, that you don't maybe wear all the time, if you want to freshen them instead of washing them, use vodka. Put it in a spray bottle and then lightly mist those areas under the arms and around the neck. If you're going to wash them, use a mild detergent. Um, you can use anything that doesn't have bleach and additives in it. And again, put them in these delicate bags so that they stay contained and they're more delicately washed. Now, if you have wool sweaters that make you itch, and that happens to me sometimes, I have found that if you'll take the sweater, put it in a basin of water, add a tablespoon or two of glycerin to that, that it will take that itch away. You're just going to saturate it in the water with the glycerin, squeeze it through, and then you can spin it out in the washing machine and that will stop the itch. To refresh in your sweaters, you can use any of these packets that you buy at the store, dry out, wool white, any of the ones that you throw in the dryer. Now, they don't clean, but they do freshen. If you have sweaters that have pimples on them, a razor is your best friend, that's all you need. You're just gonna take it, and go down the sweater across the pills and it'll take them right off. Now, for a bonus tip on what to do if you shrink your sweater and how to get it back to shape, go to queenofclean.com. I've got it on there. And check me out.